The RAV4, alongside the Corolla, is the bread and butter model of Toyota all across the world. Toyota's best-selling crossover is getting some incredible updates that range from polished interior to brand new tech for the new model year. And trust us, you're going to want to stick around for this. So if you're in the market for a RAV4, stay tuned as we tell you why the 2025 Toyota RAV4 is worth waiting for for these five huge reasons. Number 5. Last year for the gas powertrain? As everything is becoming electrified around us, there have been rumors that Toyota will offer the RAV4 as a hybrid or plug-in hybrid only in the future. Although the hybrid, especially the plug-in hybrid, is more fuel efficient than the gas RAV4, the gas RAV4 still offers a great value for people with tighter pockets, at least up front. So if you want to get the gas RAV4, the next model year can be your only chance to pull the trigger. The non-hybrid Toyota RAV4 models feature a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine producing 203 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. Front-wheel drive is standard, but you can opt for all-wheel drive on all trims, except for the Adventure and TRD off-road models, where all-wheel drive comes standard. Again, if for cost-saving reasons you want a front-wheel drive RAV4, the gas version is your only option here. And even though the gas version is not as efficient as the hybrid ones, it isn't too far off. The gasoline RAV4 is rated to get 27 miles to the gallon in the city and 35 on the highway. So if you will be doing a lot of highway driving anyway, the hybrid does not seem more advantageous. We should also mention that, unlike the hybrid versions, the gas RAV4 comes with a regular 8-speed automatic transmission. The other RAV4s come with a CVT, and if you are in the camp that hates CVTs without passion, this is probably the most convincing reason to get a gas RAV4 instead of the hybridized ones. Another reason to opt for the gas over the hybrid is because only the gas version is offered with the TRD off-road trim, not the hybrid ones. We will be mentioning the off-road trims further on in the video. What about the upfront savings, you might ask? Well, the gas RAV4 trims come with a $3,000 discount on average compared to their hybrid counterparts. But because hybrids are incredibly popular, you might be able to bargain for a better deal for a gas RAV4 with your local dealership. Number 4. Hybrids and Prime RAV4s Return As all other manufacturers are doubling down on the electrification of their lineup, Toyota is doubling down on their hybrid models as the future of automobiles. Only time can tell which side got it right. In the meantime, hybrid and plug-in hybrid versions of Toyota's best-selling SUV are going to return for the next model year, with some minor changes. All new RAV4 hybrid models come equipped with a 2.5-liter inline-4 engine paired with two electric motors and a CVT. This setup delivers a combined 219 horsepower, which powers a crossover standard all-wheel drive system. The RAV4 hybrid is more nimble than its gas counterpart, but not by a lot. It won't take your breath away, but have no worries merging on the highway as it can get up to speed in an acceptable manner. As far as fuel economy goes, which is probably the main reason anyone gets a hybrid, the RAV4 hybrid does not disappoint us. In the city, it can get an impressive 41 miles to the gallon, and it can achieve 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Not bad for a vehicle of this size. The new model year will also see the return of the breathtaking RAV4 Prime, which is the best RAV4 on the lineup, to be perfectly honest. Each version of the RAV4 offers something unique, but the RAV4 Prime arguably stands out as the most impressive. Under the hood, every RAV4 Prime boasts the same 2.5-liter non-turbo inline-4 engine, a CVT transmission, two electric motors, and a battery pack tucked beneath the rear seats. Together, this setup produces 302 horsepower, channeled through a standard all-wheel drive system. With that power, the plug-in hybrid can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.5 seconds, which is pretty fast for a RAV4. The Toyota RAV4 Prime leads its class in both combined and all-electric range, boasting an impressive 600 miles of total driving range and 42 miles on electric power alone. Without the all-electric range, the fuel economy resembles a regular hybrid RAV4. When plugged into a level 2 charger, the Prime's battery can fully recharge in as little as 2 to 3 hours, 
making it a convenient option for those seeking both efficiency and quick recharge times. Number 3. Interior Gets an Update Before all, the RAV4 is a family hauler SUV. As such, we expect a comfortable interior from it for all the family road trips we're going to take. Thankfully, Toyota delivers in this front without any issues. The new RAV4 Hybrid is expected to continue offering wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, an electric parking brake with brake hold, and LED exterior lighting as standard across all models. Base version should come with an 8.0-inch touchscreen, a 7.0-inch driver information display, six speakers, and three USB ports. Higher trims will likely offer upgrades like a 10.5-inch touchscreen with voice recognition, a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, an 11-speaker JBL audio system, and up to five USB ports. Additional features include power ventilated and heated front seats, heated rear outboard seats, a wireless charging pad, a 360-degree camera system, and dual-zone climate control. Options like power folding side mirrors and rain-sensing wipers enhance convenience further. Number 2. All-new off-road trims for the RAV4 RAV4 has never been an off-road beast for the trails. However, Toyota decided to make it a bit more adventurous with two new models for exploring the unknown with the TRD off-road trim for the gas version and the Woodland Edition for the hybrid one. Unfortunately, Toyota still won't be offering an off-road friendly version of the RAV4 Prime in the next model year, which is a shame. Well, enough complaining. Let's see what the off-road editions offer for the new RAV4. At first glance, the RAV4 TRD doesn't stand out much from other trims. It features the same black plastic fender flares as the Adventure model. However, as the popular saying goes, first appearances are deceiving. TRD off-road is more capable than you might think. Beneath the surface, the TRD model distinguishes itself with red off-road tuned coil springs, enhanced damper settings, and new bump stops, all of which deliver a smoother experience on rough terrain. Whether cruising down uneven dirt trails or navigating pothole-filled streets, the TRD's ride comfort is noticeably improved. Unfortunately, the ground clearance stays the same as the RAV4 Adventure at 8.6 inches which isn't great for tackling more technical trails. Thankfully, though, it does come with a pretty useful skid plate, which will be doing a lot of work because it doesn't have the necessary ground clearance for some routes. The TRD package has never been offered on the hybrid RAV4, and that remains unchanged. However, the new RAV4 Hybrid Woodland Edition aims to bring some of that off-road spirit to the hybrid model, though it falls short in a few areas. Borrowing from the TRD off-road, it features 18-inch bronze alloy wheels with all-terrain tires, along with the TRD springs, dampers, and bump stops. Beyond these performance tweaks, it also includes a few cosmetic updates, like a roof rack, mud flaps, and a 120-volt outlet in the cargo area for added utility. Ground clearance is the same as other hybrid trims, and there are no skid plates. People were hoping to see the meaningful TRD off-road updates also on the Woodland Edition, in the new model year. However, this is not the case. Number 1. The new RAV4 Keeps It Affordable What matters the most for the bread and butter for Toyota is keeping it affordable for families all across the world. Thankfully, the new RAV4 is still a very affordable vehicle, although the prices are slightly increased compared to the previous model year. All the regular trims also have a hybrid version, and they increase the price by $3,000 more or less to give you an idea. The base model LE is equipped with 17-inch steel wheels, roof rails, LED headlights, automatic high beams, and remote keyless entry. Inside, you'll find cloth seats and a 60-40 split folding rear seat for flexibility. LE will have an MSRP of $29,100. Upgrading to the XLE brings 17-inch alloy wheels, side mirrors with blind spot indicators, fog lights, dual zone climate control, a power adjustable driver's seat, and proximity keyless entry. Safety features like blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert are also added. MSRP for the new XLE will be $30,400. The XLE Premium steps up the style and luxury with 19-inch wheels, a power lift gate, a sunroof, imitation leather upholstery, and a power adjustable driver's seat. The XLE Premium also steps up the price to a considerable $33,500. We've already touched on the off-road trims, so let's talk about their price. 
TRD Off-Road is significantly more expensive than the Adventure, which will start from $35,100. TRD Off-Road, on the other hand, raises the price to a whopping $38,700. The aforementioned hybrid Woodland will have an MSRP of $35,200. At the top, we have the Creme de la Creme RAV4 Prime. The base Prime SE will have an MSRP of $44,100 and the XSE $47,950. A big premium over the regular RAV4 for sure, but definitely worth paying for in our opinion.